This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. Mr. Anthony Carboni, legendary indie games provocateur and host of the not quite yet legendary Challenger Approaches, but let me tell you something, a couple more episodes, he'll be there, is a freak for iPhone camera lenses. And I say it with love, I think he's bought every iPhone lens Photo JoJo sells, and I am jealous. Anthony. Hello, Welcome sir. Back to Thank you very much. And you have a correction for me. I, I, I hear from the laughter in my eye. Slight, slight correction, slight correction. It's not Challenger Approaches, it's, it's New Challenger. New Challenger. Both fighting game related, I can see how you got it mixed up. But well, yeah. we should explain. What are you doing on uh, on New Challenger? On New Challenger, basically, uh, I review a video game, mm -hmm. a big release, and then I have a guest on who reviews my review. Very recently, Veronica Belmont reviewing your review. What game did you review that she reviewed you reviewing? Well, Peter Piper picked a pick. No, um, Don't do it, we man. Did, <laughs> we did uh, Uncharted 3. Ooh. Uncharted 3, which, uh, which was basically me and Veronica both being Sony and Uncharted kind of fans. Mm -hmm. We were both just kind of squee for 10 minutes. Squee! Squee! squee. Nathan Drake! But it's yeah, good. it was good. It was a fun time. And uh, the game is great. When if can we find new episodes of New Challenger? Uh, Revision3.com slash New Challenger or uh, YouTube.com slash New Challenger. And when do they come out? Uh, every Thursday. Like now, clockwork. Every Thursday. Yep. Like the machine that you are. Boom. Just like that. You own some very nice cameras, yet you yes. are obsessed with iPhone camera lenses. I don't am, know why. I am, I am actually, I am, I am way guilty of encouraging this man to buy expensive toys for his iPhone. Where should we begin? Because basically the whole idea is like, there's, there's a camera in the iPhone. Sure. There's a great camera in the iPhone 4S. Yes. There's, um, there's, a, really, there's a really good camera that could potentially replace mm -hmm. your point and shoot. Right. We should say that. None of this stuff is, is here to make your iPhone a DSLR or a DSLR competitor. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, there is one. No, no, no. We'll get to that, but that's a misnomer, <laughs> I think. But <laughs> let's start small. How let's, much did you? OK. We let's start small. We'll, this this was expensive. This, let's, let's start small. Right. So basically, this stuff is, you know, you want to kind of improve or have mm -hmm. a little more creativity or latitude with the way you take your pictures on your iPhone. Because your iPhone's with you all the time. All the time. It is the camera of opportunity. Yep. At least for me, I take thousands of photos with my, my you hear, iPhone. You hear every week somebody quotes that statistic that it's the most used camera on Flickr now. Okay. So, I mean, it is the camera that you have on you. Is it a super serious camera? Yeah, mm. that's up for debate. But this is some stuff that you can use that will give you a little more latitude in the stuff that you shoot. Uh, first up, I have this from Photo Jojo. Very tiny. Uh, that is a two times telephoto lens, which essentially takes any iPhoto lens and makes it about a 50 millimeter, right? So this becomes a portrait walking around lens, in theory. That's 20 theory. bucks at Photo Jojo. And it's got the magnetic ring. It has a magnetic ring. Now, that's one thing I don't like about the Photo Jojo lenses, is you have to attach this magnetic ring to the back. Right. So a magnetic ring goes to the back of your camera. And, and then a sticky metal this. ring goes onto your phone. Right. And uh, I actually. I actually kind of went around that, and I have a case that I put the metal ring onto. Ah, so that way, clever. I don't like sticking things to my phone. I had so a problem with that. You stuck it to the case. I stuck it to the case. Well, let me hold it by the microphone, maybe we can hear it. There oh, it is. There's the magnetic snick. So, one thing, so what I like about this is it does give you more of that you're going to get out of your uh, out of your iPhone right. what you see with your eye. You get that 50 millimeter sweet spot. Well, the downside is, you know, it's obviously it's a twenty dollar lens. Right. So you get a lot of distortion. You get some you get some aberration. Some um, aberration. Yeah, but you know. Well, we, we should look like so this is this is a yeah. picture of an intersection up by where you live yes. here in San Francisco, and if we go to the oh. Is it there? There's 8x DSLR. We don't have one for the two. We don't have one. Too. Crop that. Crop that. <laughs> crop, <laughs> crop that into the middle and and there, then like that. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's about like that. It goes to that. That's the 2x. That's the 2x. Okay. It's it's cool. Photo Jojo has a bunch of these lenses for 20 bucks. They have mm -hmm. a wide angle macro and they also have a fisheye. And the nice thing about these are they're super small and they're pocketable. The bad right. thing about them is they are magnetic and they're not made of the best glass. Okay. So. Uh, moving up from that one, another uh, another product offered by Photo Jojo, another telephoto. The iPhone 8X telephoto lens selling for <laughs> 35 bucks. You get this guy, um, which comes with that case that I was using for my magnetic ring. This is the case that's made for this because you have to screw, screw this in. on. <laughs> Reminds there me of my go. Practica LD, my 50-year-old yeah. East German camera. Exactly. It's like an old screw mount lens. And this gives you eight times optical zoom. You'll notice that wh what this comes with, 
is very telling. It really it comes is an with, iPhone. It comes with a bracket and a tripod. <laughs> and there's a reason for this. If you magnify a sensor that small eight <laughs> times and you are not holding perfectly still. You have shaky cam. It becomes the dubstep cam because it's just wob, 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 wob. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. But it, it's kind of funny. So this is, if we take a look, this is, this is the original shot of the intersection uh -huh. right here. Right, there's our actually, let me yep. go out one more. That's the original shot of the intersection, and this is with the 8X lens. Oh, Boom. Ho, ho. that's what you get. You get, you, I don't know if you can see it on the, the right and left side of your screen, but that is some ugliness. That is ugly. That, that is ugly. That, we call that, dis, oh, we call it distortion. It's lens distortion. Ugliness. Yeah, you got lens distortion there. You've got um, obviously some color blowout right. and, and some changes because you're using a, a, a curved plastic lens on this right. thing. It's 35 bucks. Okay. Um, this is one of those things where if you enjoy a toy camera look or a vignetted look, right. you know, it's kind of cool. Like I said, none of this stuff is really going to turn if your you phone into If you buy your cameras at Urban Outfitters where you buy some of your clothes <laughs> and a lot of your furniture, you'll love this yeah. stylistic if 60s your dish, view. If your dishware has like birds and elk on it, yeah, okay. uh, you're going to love this. Uh, so these are, are kind of toys and they're kind of in interesting and experimental, but right. if you want something that's useful, I really, really love this. The, this is the Olo Clip. Now this is not from Photo Jojo. This came from a Kickstarter. Project. This, this is really clever. This is clever because it gives you those. It's Pat Norton. <laughs> it's okay. You are gonna give me a heart attack and a half. <laughs> Sorry. That lens was over. No, it's it's. <laughs> well, it's a seventy dollar <laughs> lens. This is the Olo Clip Seventy dollar lens. Yeah. So you've got on both sides there. You've got one side wide angle and. Mm -hmm. uh, Wide angle and macro. Are they, it was a Kickstarter project. Are they still selling it, or is yeah. it gone? Yeah. So basically, what happened is, uh, if, if you kickstarted it, you got it at kind of a discount. You got it at forty-five. Now they sell it for sixty-nine ninety-nine. And you can see why I like this better than the Photo Jojo lenses is number one, you get all three in one package. It's right. pocketable. That's not coming off. It's not a magnet. No. Once you stick that on, it's flush. Are you worried about it? Oh, well, it's made out of plastic, so you're not worried about it scratching the no, glass. No, not at all. IPhone. So this is cool. And the other thing is the glass on this is much nicer than the glass you're going to see on a lot of similar accessories. Mm -hmm. Out of everything, if you're genuinely looking to get better results, mm -hmm. that's the way to go. So this is actually, this is for sale now, 70 bucks. This mm -hmm. is actually, I actually want this really, really badly. It's really cool. The only downside of that is you can see it has the plastic cap mm -hmm. on one side. It's supposed to have it on the other side, but those things get lost. <laughs> <laughs> so we need a lens cap retainment system. And yeah. if you look at the picture, this is a standard intersection. Mm -hmm. And we go to the Olo Clip, and this is with the fisheye lens. And that is actually, the color looks good. You've got some nice fisheye blowout there. Yeah, when you when you zoom into it, it, it doesn't get too distorted mm -hmm. or grainy like some of these other products get. It's really, really cool. Right. That's something that actually makes it more useful as opposed to, this is a creative filter, you know? <laughs> Speaking of creative, we should point out, this is the final. This is the result of the final one. Inexpensive, <laughs> basically a junk box mm. Pentax lens attached to the legendary iPhone single lens reflex adapter. Works with Canon and Nikon lenses, $250. <sighs> this thing is insane. <laughs> This is really for, this is really you're out to prove a point. You're right. out to prove that the iPhone is a camera and you are going to use it to take photos, right? But the problem is, like, it's not super useful. No. Right? Okay, so first off, you have this intense bracket system, this, this case bracket system. Which requires this, a coin to open it. Yeah, it's this CNC machined. That's good. It's, it's nice. It's for sturdy, For $250, right? you get a nice piece of metal. Yeah. So this really fits over really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it just locks in. It just inserted the iPhone into the yeah, this thing, SLR adapter. Hold on. It's there we go. That's that's silly, right? That's like silly. I don't know. <laughs> so the thing is, what you got to know about this is if you were somebody who shot a lot of video back in right. the day and went for a film look, this uses a ground glass screen. So if I open it up, you can see what it's basically doing is taking the light from the lens and putting it through this screen. Wow. So it will hit the iPhone sensor just right. Now what happens if you've used these ground glass screens before for video is you know it introduces a couple different things. It introduces, uh, you, you lose light, Right. you get a little bit of fuzziness, and you also get these concentric lines from the ground glass. Mm -hmm. So you, I'm not seeing the lines in the pit. Well, actually, maybe I am seeing the lines. If you zoom in on that to where it's 100%, you will see tons of these lines. Oh, so, there they are. There they are, right? Oh, there they are. So 
This is cool because you do get that that nice depth of field. Because I'm using like an old Pentax lens on it, I have full manual control. But this is something where you want to be locked down on a tripod. It works right. great for things like portraits or still life. But if you're taking pictures of anything <laughs> that's you're moving, the red shoes, dry yeah, erase. exactly. <laughs> like, it's not super useful. Right. And for $250, were you upset or was it an enjoyable experiment? It was an enjoyable experiment, but it's not going to be an enjoyable experiment for everyone. <laughs> we, we have mentioned, yes. And it's cool. The other thing I should mention is if you're somebody who is yeah. thinking, oh, I'll use my lenses and I'll shoot video. Um, you should note that you're going to need a special app to shoot video because the other thing that the ground glass focusing screen does is it flips your video upside down. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and it, we should also point out that it does not include the lens. It's $250 for right. the adapter the lens bolts into. Um, mm -hmm. We should point out photojojo.com, a website we both love. They love are it. into photography. They're into photography toys. Photojojo's founder, Amit Gupta, was diagnosed with acute leukemia, and he's looking for South Asian donors. Mm -hmm. Do us a favor. Amit Gupta needs you dot com. Yeah. Veronica's coming up on New, New Challenger. Challenger. Shouts live now. You can watch that. Go to youtube.com slash new challenger and check it out. Anthony, thank you for buying you. the toys that I can't afford to so I can buy the right lens once instead of four this is times. The one. This is it. Coming up next, we're going to help you, well, actually pick the right size uninterruptible power supply, and we're going to help you tone down some power sucking apps on your computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. But first, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Ford is back, sponsoring Techzilla again today. We've been having a great time rocking the 2012 Mustang around town. Let me tell you something, this car turns heads whether it's parked or out in the highway. A good way to put sync, app link, and the big stereo in our Mustang to use is to try out the Pandora integration. Applicable with the Pandora lets you just tell sync the names of songs and artists, and Pandora begins serving you up tunes on a radio station personalized just for you. List my stations. Your stations. Quick Mix Fred Astaire Radio, Edith Frost Radio. Play station, Edith Piaf Radio. Sync allows you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands up on the wheel. Thanks again to Ford and the 2012 Mustang for sponsoring Texilla today.